Hi, I'm uh, Shane O'Connell. I'm a senior here at Trevecca. I'm uh, playing the men's soccer team. My major is sport management and my minor is marketing. Um, I was born in Cork, Ireland, and that's where I grew up. I started playing soccer at a very young age for a, a club called Castleview and spent over 10 years at the club before coming over here. I had excellent coaches and mentors there that definitely guided me through my youths. Um, when I was 14 years old, I hit a life change. Um, my dad died. He lost a battle with alcoholism and bipolar disorder. And I think I never really grieved the situation for a good few years. I always carried a chip, to, chip on my shoulder. I never showed any like vulnerability. I viewed it as like weakness and that's just kind of the way the environment I grew up in that was normal thing to do and I think me not showing that vulnerability was really made me become the weakest I could possibly be become. Um, it caught up with me. I ended up having some issues with alcohol myself. Um, I, there's a lot of different forms of alcoholism. I t mine falls into a category of like binge drinking. Like, I every time I drink, I drink till I drop. Like, I'm not just saying it. I would drink till I drop. And I think about five percent of the time that I drank, I probably remember about five percent getting home that night. And that's not an exaggeration. Um, the binge drinking really made me spiral downhill um, mentally. Um, I put myself in really dark places um, I really didn't see any purpose for my own life and I was my own worst enemy um, so then when I was 20 years old I transitioned to Trevecca from the environment I'm in definitely got a culture shock I thought everyone was I, I felt like a I stood out like a sore thumb like um, my time here at Trevecca has been a roller coaster, lots of ups, lots of downs. Um, in my time at Trevecca, I've been arrested twice, I've been on social probation, academic probation, and I actually got thrown out of Trevecca and had to get readmitted. Um, both times I got arrested, I both involved alcohol, one involved violence with alcohol, and I knew I needed to make a change. Um, so I knew I needed to quit alcohol, but I really didn't want to. I didn't care about anything really that I was doing. Didn't care about the consequences of any of my actions. Um, so the motivation for me to quit alcohol was kind of for my family. Alcohol has like been a destructive thing in my family throughout my life. And I don't want that to be that way for the rest of my life. Um, I want to change that, so I made a decision to quit alcohol. With the help of counselling and different practices, such as prayer, um, prayer, um, reading, podcasts, just a lot of educational stuff, um, and applying it to my life. And it's like, because I knew what I needed to do, but I never applied it. So. When I made that change, I made sure I applied all these new stuff to my life. And I built um, a structure. I really need a structure to kind of stay on the, the correct path. And uh, that's what I have now. Um, I'm sober now 19 months. And this year, obviously, it's been an uncertain year for everyone. So going home um, in March... I was just a year sober at that stage. It was kind of nerve-wracking. Um, I didn't know what to expect. It was uh, my first time home since quitting drink. And I wasn't sure like how my friends or my family would view me. When I got home, my family were extremely supportive. Um, my family in general have made some changes in the past two years. And seeing my family now compared to like past times is what motivates me to keep going forward the way we're going um, like, uh, 
like every decision I make now is what's best for me or best for my family some of the like I realise I'm not going to please everyone I think before when I had my problems I was trying to be a people pleaser trying to be in the middle of a party and I was destroying my own mental health um, so even though you have some people that are going to try to hold you back or try to knock you off the path you're on some people just don't like to see people do good and some people are just uneducated on the topics like they just say like just have a few drinks Shane you'll be alright but that's not how it works not with me um, so I know I will never ever drink alcohol again um, now being sober and my academics have improved immensely um, I I get the chance to speak to some students that find themselves in similar situations to me and that honestly brings me like happiness um, my like plans going forward I plan on doing my MBA at Trevecca next year and then after I finish college I don't know where where I'll be taken I don't know if I can stay in America if I'll be in Ireland anywhere but when I'm like if I stay on the path I'm going I want to just keep being the best person I can be I want to be able to provide for my family love my family and do everything I can do best and that's all the motivation I need seeing the joy in my family now compared to some tougher times is invaluable there's nothing I can get that's more valuable than that and that's my motivation to kind of keep pushing forward I think long term I'd like to start my own multi-purpose facility in a community that lacks opportunities and just provide kind of guidance and like and opportunities for youths that might not have the guidance elsewhere in their homes or anything like that um, and that's basically it um, if there's anyone that watches this and they feel they're struggling with anything like don't hesitate to reach out to me um, I might not have all the answers but I will be a listening ear and I'll try to point you in the right direction thanks very much